Okay, Ben Rosario. Poke and AZ Elite. The new branding? I've seen, That's you know, right. We talked about it. Yeah. And now you got a big signing. Big signing, yeah. We signed Wesley Kip too, so that all happened this week, and we announced it this morning. And then uh, he'll race tonight at Mount Sac. We have a brand new logo that was released today, purple and orange colors, pretty cool. And then uh, Steph's running Monday, so big weekend for us. And how'd you guys, it's a new model, like getting someone, he had eligibility left, you know, get him to turn pro early. Yeah, well, we didn't get him out. to turn pro early. It's not like we encouraged it. We, we, uh, we found him. out that he yeah. wanted to. And, and uh, so we were certainly open to that, but we, we wanted to make sure he graduated, which he will. So he'll, he'll graduate in May, and then he'll come out to flag after that. So if he runs super fast tonight, you can't take credit? <laughs> not really, although, although uh, we have been working on his training for the last three weeks or so, but I would certainly not take credit. So he put out the feelers or to talk about you know, the process of signing him and yeah, I mean, how he's a good fit? Yeah, I, I mean, I think there were a couple of different agents uh, you know, going after him, and those agents kind of reached out to us. And, um, you know, of course, everybody was looking at him. I mean, he's, he's the national champion. And so uh, when we spoke to him, we really liked him. We brought him out for a visit. The visit went great. And uh, he, he knows Alex Masai on our team, who's Kenyan. And um, then he got to know Tyler Day and Matt Baxter and, and Nick Hogger and the others. And uh, yeah, it just worked really well. Is he the most credentialed person you signed? He's our first national champ. We have a bunch of runners up. Alfin was a runner up. Alice was a runner up. Uh, Baxter was a runner up. So it's, fi it's nice to have a national champ. All right, Stephanie on Monday, what's. How's that going? Stephanie's in shape, in shape, really good shape. And, um, you know, she's been top 10 at Chicago and New York and, and London and the Olympic trials. So it'd be nice to add Boston because this is her last year. And uh, she is wearing new shoes, which you guys always ask about. So I'll just get in front of it. Um, and we're excited about that as well. Are these shoes out for everybody? They're prototypes or what's the... Well, I guess you would call it, uh, I guess you would call it a prototype because it's not out for everybody yet, but it will be. Though. And when's it coming out? Uh, for the public, 23 but for all of our athletes uh, in a couple of months. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, it's crazy, like, I was going through some random Let's Run archives two nights ago, and I found some interview with her. She went from 240 in the marathon to 229 in one race. This is like 12 years ago or something. Yeah, yeah. But her PB is still 227, right? Yeah, yeah. She, it's, it's, it's but she's always top 10 at these things. Like, yeah, she's a good she racer. Wanted, yeah. Do you guys worry about the time? When you get top 10 this year, you're going to have to play run fast, right? Yeah, I don't worry about the time, but I would say that uh, her marathon PB is, is probably not as good as her others, just for various reasons. Uh, oftentimes, it's the like, race and the well, oftentimes the race, but oftentimes, like, she's had some GI issues and different things, but, uh, but that seems to be really behind her now. Her training hasn't had, we haven't had any trouble with any of that uh, and all the long stuff, so she's just taking water and gel this time, and I feel really good about it. When do you get the new logo on the hat? Uh, soon, you know, I do love this hat. I've had this hat for a long time, uh, but uh, yeah, all the new logo and stuff comes out uh, now. Yeah. How's the golf betting going? Golf betting, you know, Scotty Scheffler's made me a lot of money this, uh, I, this year. I don't know what, I don't, betting's legal in Connecticut now. I got a free bet on the Masters. And the guy had to finish top 10. Scotty Sheffer had more the odds before the Masters for him. Uh, to win, 16 to 1. Why did I not do that? Right, you gotta like, listen to me. I'm a Dallas guy. I'm like, oh, Jordan Spieth's coming back. I went with a heart. And I knew it. I'm like, I should have done it. <laughs> Just call me. <laughs> well, now you're not going to get good odds at him anymore, no, right? There's no. no way, right? No, no way. How is he? He won every tournament. How is he 16 to 1? Uh, because people just didn't believe he was going to keep it going, but he did. What about my live bet in the hole number three for the other guy? Are you a live bet? What did you do? Uh, Shepard was falling apart. Oh, oh, you live bet Smith. When he got one stroke yeah, back, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that wasn't a I bad was idea. I was positive odds. I'm like, I'm that saying... wasn't a bad idea, but I would tell you that Shuffler's just unflappable. He's just so steady and nothing bothers him, and uh, that's the key to sports, isn't it? Can you bet on the marathon anywhere? Uh, probably, but I would never do You're that. not allowed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I can't do find it. I don't know. Probably in Europe. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks.